Hello there. Welcome, guys, to the Christmas VIP, hosted by Ryan Tiffany. Our first announcement of the day is about elevator usage. Only people with medical conditions are in boots, wheelchairs, or crutches are allowed to use the elevators from now on. If anyone who wants to try out for track in the spring is interested, please email Coach Novak for more information. Next, we have Weather with Trevor and Sitting with Andy. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your weekly weather report with Trevor. I'm Trevor, here for your weather. So on Friday, we're going to have a high of 70 and a low of 46. Saturday, we're going to be in the high 70s as well with a low of 48. Sunday, it's going to be in about 70, 71 with a low of 46. And Monday should be 69 with a low of 48. As we move on to Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, Tuesday is going to be a high of 70s and a low of 46 once again. It's also going to be throughout Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it is going to be just a little cloudy, not much. On Wednesday, it is going to be a high of 68 and a low of 47. And then on Thursday, to finish it off, we're going to have a high of 69 and a low of 46. I'm Trevor, and this has been Weather. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Nat King Cole. A few months ago, I interviewed Brian about his work in the film and TV program. Since then, Verado attended the Rocky Mountain Emmys, which is a student film festival, where they were up for 12 awards, and I was able to meet back up with Brian about his four nominations and his two award-winning films. Well, there's been a lot more work. <laughs> uh, just recently, they had the, um, the Emmy Award ceremony, and they just announced that um, a music video and a sci-fi short film that I did just got awarded. It was pretty exciting because I had gone in more prepared because I knew what I was going to get into, you know? So I had done a lot more effort into these videos and then for me to get awarded twice was fun. Uh, I was up for four nominations actually. I got it for um, Misfire and Walk But in the Garden, which is a, uh, Misfire is a sci-fi and um, Walk But in the Garden is an animated music video. Um, I'd say be creative, you know, if you have an idea for something that you really want to do, you know, never give up and try making that idea. Even if it might take some time, you know, planning ahead or if you ever just randomly get an idea for a story or something, maybe start writing it early on and then that way you progress and make it really good at the end. I think I'd probably like to go to film school, you know. I'd like to create my own original work, you know, make my own stories. I, I have thought of working in some music videos because I like uh, the short, time that you get to make a music video like for the video itself like how long it is but the fact that you could fit so much creativity into it I kind of like that idea especially with like animation and stuff I'm into that type of genre so if I ever do go to like a college or something I'd probably get into that niche of work so very cool all right well thank you so much that was all my questions for you yeah, no problem Be afraid, Ron, uh. for I bring you great news of dire consequence. Oh, well, 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 who are you? I am the ghost of driving future, and I see an accident in yours if you don't change your ways and put down your phone. Well, well, okay, ghost of driving future. I'll change my ways forever. I'll, I'll never text and drive again. Thank you, spirit. You may have just saved my life. Spirit? Spirit? Oh, he's gone already. You, boy! What day is it? It's Tuesday, sir. Well, take this corner here. Go buy the fattest duck you can find. How is this supposed to buy Have me a, a duck? Good day. Wait. This won't buy me anything. Hello, I'm Andrew for KVHS Sports. Boys basketball will be at Horizon High School for the Holiday Hoops Tournament today through the 18th. Girls basketball is at Chandler Preparatory High School for the 
Epic Tourneys presents the New Year's Classic on the 28th. I'm Andrew for KVHS Sports. Have a great break. Hey guys, welcome back to Question of the Week. I'm your host, Ryan Tiffany, and the Question of the Week this week is, what do you want for Christmas? So who am I with today? Darius Brown, um, in the ninth, the ninth grade. All right, Darius, what do you want for Christmas this year? A uh, new pair of shoes. Okay, good answer. Thank you so much. Who am I with today? Luke Skaba. What grade are you in? I'm a senior here. All right, Luke, what do you want for Christmas? I'm trying to get a pair of stilts so I can live up my dreams of being six foot tall. Oh, okay, bet. Thank you so much. All right. Who am I with today? You are with Scott Smith, one of the security monitors for the school. All right, Scott, what do you want for Christmas? Well, that's a tough question. My wife always asks me that one. I usually have no answer for it. But let's go with a uh, DeWalt miter saw, one of the ones that kind of moves when you're cutting it. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, who am I with today? Uh, Savannah, and I'm a junior. All right, Savannah, what do you want for Christmas? A car. Oh, okay. Nice answer. Thank you. All right, who am I with today? Uh, Luis, I'm a senior. All right, Luis, what do you want for Christmas? A Lego set. Oh, okay, bet. All right, who am I with today? Alexander Gallica. Yeah, grade 10. All right, Alex, what do you want for Christmas this year? Probably a new shoulder. A new shoulder? Yes, sir. All right, thank you so much for joining me on this edition of Question of the Week. I'm your host, Ryan Tiffany, signing off. Hometown holidays took place on Saturday, December 4th, and hundreds of Verado families came to attend the annual Christmas tree lighting. Before the event started, people walked around Main Street, taking pictures and eating food at the food trucks as they rekindled some of their lost relationships during quarantine. Parents and their kids waited in line to send a letter to the North Pole in hopes that Santa would get them in time for Christmas. As the sun went down and the lights lit up, people were in awe as the entire square came to life. Verado Vanguard performed many songs that lifted the spirit of the crowd and set the holiday mood. Finally, it was the moment that people had been waiting for. The tree lit up with thousands of tiny little lights, and with the power of a Christmas miracle, it started to snow in Arizona. There were some Christmas carols led by Summit Community Church, which the crowd joined in. As the night came to a close, I couldn't help but notice how happy people were. People with different backgrounds and interests were united by one thing, and that was the Verado community. Welcome back to Let's Get Cooking. Chef Andrew here, cooking today a Latifi pizza. Hello everyone, welcome back to Baking with Ben. Today I'm going to be making a pizza. Uh, I heard that Andrew's also gonna be making a pizza, so this is gonna be interesting. The Latifi pizza is a pizza that has Nutella and bananas on it. I'm sure he's just making like a pepperoni or sausage pizza. So you can have pizza for breakfast, pizza for lunch, pizza for dinner, and pizza for dessert. Who doesn't love pizza? Let's get cooking. Show off my dough tossing skills here. All right, I'm just gonna pour some of this marinara sauce on here. Be very generous with the amount of cheese that you add to this. You're gonna want a lot of cheese because this is gonna be your foundation that you're gonna put your pepperoni on. Wow, that took a uh, lot more cheese and a lot longer than I thought it would. Andrew, I definitely felt your pain on that one. Okay, fresh out of the oven, here's our boboli. What we're going to do is get our Nutella on here. Caution, the boboli is hot. All right, our Nutella has been spread. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is add our pepperoni. I got the pepperoni pretty much evenly distributed, not perfect, I would say, uh, but it looks pretty good. And now what you need to do is put your bananas on. As you can see, we got a lot of bananas on the pizza, just like that. That is how you make the Latifi pizza. And see you next time on Let's Get Cooking. Really, really nice. Um, it came out a lot nicer than I actually expected it to. I'm optimistic at this pizza's chances. It looks really, really good. 
It smells really, really good. It actually smells like a legitimate pizza. So I'm surprised about that. Hello there. And now we're on to the taste testing portion of this cooking. And uh, first up we have Ben's pepperoni pizza. And uh, who, who else am I with today? Uh, I'm Jacob. And I'm Trevor. Okay guys, I think we should uh, try, try Ben's uh, classic pepperoni pizza here. Well boys, uh, what are your thoughts on it? It's, it's good. It's a little bit rubbery. Out of 10, I would give it, I'll give it a solid seven. Okay, I don't know if I'd go that high. I'm thinking about a six on this. What about you, Trevor? I'm sorry, Ben, but there's just too much grease and not enough sauce. This is only going to be a five out of 10 for me. Okay, thank you. All right, guys, next up, I think we, uh, we gotta taste uh, Andy's. Unfortunately, compared to the real pizza, I'm gonna have to give it a four out of 10. The, the It's too tough, the taste is good, just doesn't taste right though. Okay, I agree with a lot of what you said there, Jacob, but um, I still think that the Nutella pizza gets the slight edge in this. I just feel like there wasn't enough creativity that went along into making this pizza. I'm gonna give this one a slight six and a half out of 10. What about you, Trevor? But I'm gonna give it a five out of 10 again. Huge. It wasn't a hey, huge get, we get the out of here. Go on. Private discussions here. We would like to say that Ben's Pepperoni Pizza Pizza has won this week's week competition. Yeah! The final Woo! scores. Good show, man. Ben's, Ben's and... Pizza got an average of six from the judges. Andy's got an average of five and a half. Very close one, Whoa. gentlemen. And but we'll see as... you two competing again, for sure. Congratulations to our Unified Sports Soccer team for getting gold and silver at the Unified Soccer Tournament. Great job, Vipers. And thank you for joining me on this Christmas edition of the VIP. We'll see you next time in 2022. Bye-bye. Thank you.